but I just want to know who do we think is more messed up today? Do we think the guys are more messed up or do we think like the women have more are messed up? Like who, who has more trauma? You would think the guys, you think the guys, why though? <laughs> because women are more willing and vulnerable by nature to open up and work through things and men are trained by the culture to hold it in and to bottle it in and to be a man and to not show emotions so they're generally more detached from their true feelings and what they're going through okay no that, no that, that, that's a good point mm -hmm. uh who do you think has more trauma the men or the women today i think it's kind of men because the same reason you're supposed to bottle everything up and not be so emotional so i guess you could say men but i mean it, it's hard to I mean, tell kind of hey, yeah. mo hey move your mouse cursor really quick bassett i wanted to see what the yeah <laughs> but uh, um but no um i really was uh you know when i was thinking about this a lot i i was i was thinking like really hard about like where these things kind of start and i feel like it's it's definitely both but the thing is like the guys today like who are making the guys, you know, have traumatic experiences today? So like, I would argue that a lot of guys that go through trauma today, if they didn't go through it in their household mm -hmm. um, and they go through it in their first relationship, usually today, like for me personally, I lost my virginity to a girl who had already had 16 bodies. When I was like, when I was like 19, she was 17, already had like 16 people that she had slept with. Mm -hmm. And so like, she definitely had already gone through, she had huge daddy issues. Like she, she lived in a, like her mom was, the, she had a single mother parent and her mom was crazy also. Like, it definitely, I, when I was a young guy, I had no idea, you know, like, I was just happy to get something when I was 19, you know what I'm saying? So, like, but, so, like, I did, I looked past all the red flags and didn't think about anything in this first relationship. I was with her for three years. And, um. Damn. Yeah, no. But, like, well, because it was mostly good. But the thing is, uh, I really believe that, like, those girls, though, like, she got social experience before I did. She got socially calibrated before I did. Even though I was older than her, she had more experience than I did. She was actually more in leverage in the relationship and had more control over me. I actually compare this to like a 50 year old dude being with an 18 year old girl because he has such an immense amount of experience over her that that is like a huge gap. It's not like a 40 year old with a 21 year old, in my opinion, like a 50 year old with an 18 year old. It's just like that's that, that that is borderline. OK, you definitely got way more on honor, you know, and I see the same thing as a woman that say has 20, 25 bodies by the time she's 25 dating a guy that's 28 and he's only had two bodies it's the, it, the, the the emotional manipulation can still happen in that way too because she has all the social experience and all the leverage in that relationship because that guy has no experience he's he's a he's probably very simba beta too and just happy to have something if he's only had two girls and he's 28 years old so he like you gotta understand those power dynamics happen a lot and so when i was really starting to think about this a lot you know a, a lot of women are more experienced early on they end up with a guy who's less experienced than them sometimes and they cause them into the trauma cycle and push them into it and then maybe they might be a good person that's never had relationship issues but they learn it from that person who went through all that trauma first but then also i started digging even deeper if we peel the layer back again because her trauma um say like she had trauma from her father or anything like that a lot of the trauma or like a lot of the bad stuff that's going on today, like the men today are paying for traumas that our fathers and grandfathers did. It might not have been us necessarily or our generation that did it, but we're going to get blamed for it. And we're the ones that are going to have to deal with cleaning up the bullshit that they did 20, 30, 40 years ago to either your mothers or even y'all as children. Right. And it's like, it's uh, so I, it's definitely not one side or the other. It's definitely not the men's fault or the women's fault. Mm -hmm. It's like the men of the previous generations for sure. But then also it doesn't help that the women are getting into these traumatic cycles and pushing it back onto the men too. Right. Um, I wanted to also, you know, ask when it comes to, yeah. When, when it comes to trauma, would you say that uh, because like we were talking about, you know, if it affects one person more, would you say that since women are more emotional and that like y'all are more um, y'all want to talk about your feelings and y'all want to do all those things that at least when y'all go through trauma, it might be more damaging. Whereas like if a guy goes through trauma, he might be able to break out of it. Would you say that at least? I wouldn't say it's more damaging. You wouldn't think no. so? What do you think? No, I think women and men are probably traumatized equally, but women deal with it better than men. That's what I was trying to say. You, you really think that, though? Yeah. So you think that, like, a woman that was, like, raped at a young age or anything like that, like, gone through a lot of trauma, you don't think that that's going to, like, affect the rest of her life? Well, of course it will, but I feel like women deal with it better. Obviously, like, some of the women don't, but on a grand scale, I would say women are 
more in tune with getting help. They're more willing to go to therapy than men are. It's usually like from what I hear, women, the girlfriends, the wives, the mothers having to convince their sons, their yeah. uh, husbands, their boyfriends, whatever, to go to therapy. So uh, it's usually- well, that's a good point, though, that, that, that you bring up. You know, women go the most. Would you say that women are very good at taking accountability? It depends on the woman. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Do you it think depends, women, yeah, it really depends on the woman? woman? Yeah. So see, 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 that's my problem with it is that it's like, I would agree that women do seek out therapy and do it the most, but I've seen multiple times personally, like anecdotal as hell, where a woman can go to therapy and literally never admit her faults even yeah. to the therapist. And like, if we look at cluster B disorders, you the number one trait of a cluster B disorder, which is histrionic, um, personality disorder, uh, uh, borderline personality disorder, uh, antisocial personality disorder, any of those uh, personality disorders are all cluster B disorders. The number one sign of it is you lack uh, the uh, the uh, self-awareness. You lack yeah. self-awareness. That's the number one trait of it. So you like we could look at studies and see how many people have these things. But the number one problem with those people is they can't admit they have it. So how would we, we can't even tell how many people actually have cluster B disorders in America. Right. It's impossible. It could be half the population. We would never know it <laughs> because they're not going to admit it. Right. They're not going to admit it. I actually have a cluster B disorder. And the doctor originally told me there's no way you're borderline because borderline people are not self-aware. And he said, there's no way you are. He said, this test must be broken. And it was just like that, but because that's how, that's what they really, even doc, even the therapists think that shit. That, right. that 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 if you have that if you have self awareness you can't even be it. I think I run into that a lot with trying to get into friendships with other women. That's why I don't have any friends because they lack the accountability or being wrong. Like it's okay to be or, wrong. Or it's I'll like, say that anytime. Yeah, it's because okay text be messaging wrong. and stuff or like being right. off on times and shit. Yeah, that was pissed me off. Like, well, like, we'll, 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 like, say, like, she didn't reply to you for like two days, and she says that it was over something, and but you know what she was really doing. Like, that would piss me the. F- I don't know. I, I take friendship <laughs> seriously, so oh, I wouldn't yeah, want somebody like doing that. Sh-